Oh, what do I do? I must stop the experiment soon. I was planning to conduct an experiment today, but my assistant didn't show up. Can you help me out? Thank you. So, for your first task, please fetch the bucket over there. It's under the roof and has been catching rainwater. In the meantime, I'll set up the experiment. Please bring the bucket inside the lab. You're just in time. I just finished setting up the experiment. I want to see how rainwater of a certain composition affects this area. I'm going to mix these ingredients in the rainwater you brought to make the experimental rainwater. I want you to sprinkle that rainwater on the scarab and observe while it's wet. I'm mixing the ingredients in the rainwater. It's almost done. I've created the experimental rainwater. Be careful. Scarabs can become hostile suddenly when they are soaking wet from rain. You're just in time. I want to see. I'm going. I want you to... I'm mixing the ingredients in the rainwater. It's almost done. I've created the experimental rainwater. Be careful. Scarabs can become hostile suddenly when they are soaking wet from rain. Ah! <sighs> I'm glad you were with me. It was the cursed rain that affected the creatures and harvesters in this area. A decade ago, Laslin was suddenly hit by tainted rain, which turned the creatures that were touched by it into rampaging monsters. I traced the composition of the tainted rain, and learned about the curse-causing ingredients used by the Shadowmancers. The rainwater you just sprinkled was made from those same ingredients. It seems to have the exact same effect as the tainted rain does. 
I'll report back to Venelux with the results of today's experiment. Thank you for your help, adventurer. Welcome to Mandrake Farmstead, where we grow them with love from seed to harvest. <laughs> if it's fresh mandrakes you need, you've come to the right farm. Ah. Oh my. Uh, I've just run out of roots. Mm. How about collecting as many as you need yourself? And, in exchange, you can have everything for free. Then, try harvesting the roots from the mandrakes planted out in the field. Oh, by the way, mandrakes will turn violent when you try to harvest their roots, so be extra careful. While you search for treasures hidden in ships wrecked by storms and chests that have been drifting, you will encounter the masters of the coastline. From a distance, they look like normal crustaceans, but when you get up close, you'll find they pose a greater threat than you anticipated. you here huh these are the ingredients needed to make rancid powder Martin a must have sent you but how did you know about these ingredients Oliver that clever boy how did he figure this out already he's quite bright 
Herbalists have to go to perilous places to acquire ingredients. But Oliver can't even stand the sight of a mere ant. I'm waiting for him to overcome his fears. Well, I'll make the rancid powder for you right away. It must be urgent for you to come all the way out here. But look at me, rambling on. Here's your rancid powder. Planning to go straight back to Martinet? In that case, why don't you try opening your map and teleporting to Castleton? Did you bring the ingredient? You're back so soon. Did you find rancid powder? How are you feeling? Have you gotten any worse? I'm glad you're all right. The rancid powder you brought is high quality. I'll make the monocalming potion for you right away. Here you are. Why don't you try it and see how it works? better just as I thought it's much more effective I tried to improve the efficacy but I didn't expect the results to be this good the calming potions effect is very effective this time I need to bring this to my sister right away but as you know I'm in no position to be wandering around outside thank you this is the same calming potion that I made you please Bring this to Mina at Windhill Shores. Only Mina knows where my sister is, you see. Zeroth's men might follow me and find my sister if I go see her myself. Yes, Zareth, the leader of Laslin's Archeum unit. He's one of the Khazar's top commanders. He wants the power of my sister's star fragment and will stop at nothing to get it. You see, if the power is strong enough, the mana will go into a frenzy. The calming potion is controlling your power for now, but you can't hide from Zareth forever. Please be careful. The effect of the mana calming potion that Martinet made was incredible. Soon after you drank the potion, you could feel your magic begin to settle down. Martinet, who had been researching a way to relieve her older sister Adriana's pain for so long, finally succeeded in creating a potion 
more effective than her other attempts. How can I help you? Seeing that you brought the calming potion, I'm pretty sure that Martinay must have sent you. If she sent this out of the blue in such a hurry, then things probably worked out well for her. Sorry, but Adriana isn't exactly here right now. The news from Nina was unexpected. Xeroth's spies were closing in on Adriana's hideout, forcing her to flee. Martinet's potion was still not effective enough to control her mana completely, so she set out to find a way to quell her frenzied mana on her own.
don't know what to do. Oh, uh, could you help me? I'm an investigator from the Lightbringer Society. Periodically, I check the creature contamination levels from the cursed rains that have fallen on this area. And to do that, I must take a sample from those scary-looking creatures and place it in a contamination meter. But... Please defeat the creatures on the shores. Collect their samples and put them in a contamination meter. Uh, <laughs> I'm a bit of a coastal biophobe. Every survey cycle is a struggle for me. I got a clear measurement of the contamination. Thank you so much for your help. Adriana used to live inside that lighthouse.
just jump off the cliff. Ah, oh, I'm researching the contaminated beams of Windhill Shores. I've noticed an unknown contaminant on the floating plank in the sea, but I haven't been able to identify what it is. I only have a small amount of time to get the magic potion out of the water and onto the contaminant. Really? Oh, thank you. You must apply it to the contaminant within the time limit. Be careful not to let the magic potion come into contact with seawater, all right? was a large stone crab. Thank you so much.
her. Unfortunately, we're a bit late. <laughs> that one must have taken Adriana away! You have a star fragment just like that girl. I won't be going home empty-handed after all. Interfere with our plans? I'll kill you! I can't forget that horrible nightmare I had. So many people in despair, all of them writhing in pain. With time, my memories became clearer. It's agonizing, but I just can't give up. At the very least, for Martinet's sake. I felt someone's presence in my sleep. I thought it was just Mina at first, but then I could tell from the heavy footsteps that the intruder was someone I didn't know. I quickly hid myself and watched the intruder pass by. The pattern engraved on their sword meant that they were part of the Archeum Legion. Just why are the Archeum looking for me again? I can't allow that tragedy to be repeated. It's probably time for me to leave. 
At the very least, Martinet will be safe. The Archeum Legion attacked the lighthouse where Adriana had been hiding, seeking the power of a star fragment. Only after defeating them did you discover her research papers and a diary she had left behind. There, she had clearly recorded the difficult times she had been through. Just who was Janice Carter anyway? She recognized my power immediately, and knew that as long as I possessed it, I would be targeted by Archeum for the rest of my life. She ended up telling me that the only way to truly be free from the Archeum was to leave as soon as possible, and find some way to gain control over my power. You found a document which contained details about Janice Carter, someone Adriana had met. Janice, recognizing the strength of the star fragment that Adriana had, advised her that the only way to be free from the Archeum was to leave as soon as possible and find a way to control her power. Archeum forces captured Martinet, the younger of two twin sisters. By keeping her hostage, they forced the shaman Adriana, who wielded the power of a star fragment, to call forth the rains. As the ritual began, rain cascaded from the sky, accompanied by crashes of thunder. But the Archeum forces had altered the ritual. Their tampering caused a cursed rain to fall on Laslin. Wherever the rain fell, creatures transformed into violent monsters that attacked people and devastated the farmland. Adriana was shocked to witness what she had done. When the Archean forces turned on the sisters, meaning to kill them now that they had served their purpose. The awe-inspiring power of the star fragment that lay dormant within Adriana flooded out and their enemies were annihilated in an instant. aftermath, Adriana was beset by unspeakable disfigurations, swallowed by guilt over her role in causing the cursed rain.
long is this ugly statue going to remain here? This guy's been dead for ages. Is there someone out there? Can anyone help me? Adventurer, because of you, I was able to hear about my sister before it was too late. Thank you. Now that her hiding place has been exposed, Zeroth's men will find this clinic sooner or later, putting the villagers in great danger. So I also decided to leave before it's too late. I wish I could have created a true cure for you. I'm sorry. My calming potion won't be enough to fully control your mana. It's too powerful but it'll keep it from raging out of control for the time being. I'll focus on developing a proper, long-term treatment. When we meet again, I'll be able to cure you completely. Until then, please take care of yourself and be safe out there. Don't forget that Zaroth and the Archeum Legion could be after you. In the past, when Archeum had taken Martine hostage... Is there someone out there? Can anyone help me? Is there someone out there? Can anyone help me? much time left. Oh, what should I do? There's something that I desperately need, but no one will even listen to me. Couldn't you find it in your heart to help me out, adventurer? Have you ever heard of this monster known as Iskael the Greyfanged? He was this dreadful wolf that possessed terrible malvescence. Back in my younger days, 
I almost ended up getting killed by Iskail. The only reason I'm alive to speak to you about this today is that Henry, the Lord's son, came to rescue me and the other children. He heroically sacrificed his own life to defeat Iskail. Whenever I get the chance, I try to visit Henry's grave in Castleton Abbey to leave some offerings. Last time, I made some gloves for him using the hide of a rabbit that I caught. The anniversary of Henry's death is coming soon, so I'd like to prepare a special gift for his grave. I saw a beautifully crafted keepsake at an old hunter's house once. He said he got it from participating in the wolf hunting contest that is held in Henry's memory. I wish I could get one of those keepsakes and bring it to Henry's grave, but I'm still too young to participate in the contest. You don't mind? You'll really get one of those keepsakes for me? If that's the case, then I... No, never mind. Actually, it would be nice if I could have two of these keepsakes. Do you think it'd be possible to get two? Thank you so much, adventurer! The contest is hosted at the Lord's Residence in Castleton. Go there and ask how you can participate. Brother, this way! Come over here for a second! something have you tried using the storage it's very convenient that's great you look more composed than last time so I guess it went well anyway I have something to tell you do you know how to transfer upgrade levels I thought as much. If you want to prepare yourself properly against all sorts of Archeum spies, you need to know what transferring entails. Brother, let me tell you something I learned from one of my other customers. When you get a shiny new high-grade weapon, you can transfer power from a rusty old weapon to strengthen it. When you perform a transfer, the older equipment's upgrade level is completely moved to the new equipment. It's much more efficient than upgrading new gear from scratch. So, brother, remember to upgrade every piece of equipment as much as you can. Got that, brother? Transferring power means you never have to throw away a piece of equipment. So feel free to upgrade everything as much as you'd like. <laughs> it's easy. How long is this ugly statue going to remain here? This guy's been dead for ages. So many things to do. Making arrangements for the contest, checking up on the farm. I know that you've come a long way, but our situation is pretty bad. We might even have to shut down the contest at this rate. We must lure the wolves to proceed with the contest, but the bait we've been using just isn't working. Lord Hobbs cherishes this contest. He hasn't missed a single one. You have no idea how much trouble I'll be in if this year's event falls flat. 
Oh, um, wait. If you're here for the contest, can you please help me? I need some ingredients to make a new kind of bait. A wolf hunter keepsake? But that's... Um, no, never mind. But first, you need to help me procure the ingredients needed for the bait, okay? Please defeat the crackle in the wrecks on Wind Hill Shores. They're tricky to find, but the wolves love eating them. The stench of crackle meat is irresistible bait for beasts like them. Also, investigate any chests that are left in the wrecks. They often contain fishing bait, which is quite effective as well. Please remember, crackle are difficult prey to hunt, so you should equip at least uncommon level armor. But why don't you pay a visit to armor crafter Rachel? I've already dropped a word with her. Dave, the Lord's aide, was concerned that the bait he was using for the wolf hunting contest wasn't effective enough. He decided to solve this problem by developing a new kind. To get a keepsake for Soyuri, you must first gather the ingredients for this new bait from Windhill Shores. Take a gander before you head off on your adventure. I'm sure. That was close. I can't believe the ghastly tales were true. Have you brought enough materials? Iron, cloth, and leather. The basic components of armor. Ah, you must be the adventurer that our aid mentioned. So, you're off to hunt Crackle. That means you're in need of some tough armor. Usually, you need to bring materials to crafters like us to make armor. Since you came through Dave's introduction, I will provide the materials just this one time. Try crafting the armor you need. The Lord's aide Dave introduced you to an armorsmith at Castleton named Rachel. Rachel gave you some materials and told you to craft some armor. If you want armor that's perfect for you, you have to craft it. One day, I want to craft armor that can defend against any attack! One day, I want to craft armor that can defend against any attack! 